Right, I think that's clean enough for my visitors. Hello everyone, how nice of you to join me. Now this video is a pretty rare thing on my channel. I've actually got a lot, well a fair few vacuum cleaners out in one go because I'm having a big sort out, a bit of a clear out. I will be getting rid of some of my vacuums but probably none that you collectors would be interested in. Um, anything that's collectible obviously is staying in my collection but uh, I need to thin out a few things um, and it's just getting beyond a joke now. So uh, I'm going to show you a few of the vacuums and believe it or not probably about eight of these came out from under my bed. So it's amazing where you can hide away your dirty little secret from your loved ones. Okay, so another rare occurrence on my channel. I'm in handheld mode behind the camera. So I'll just show you these few cleaners and then we might have a look at some of them in more detail. Some that you may not have seen at all or some that uh, you haven't seen in a long while. So um, this is my SIBO Automatic X7. Currently that model is winning in the dirt pickup results in my vacuum of the month series. That's picked up the most dirt so far. Currently, if you saw that video, I am using the GTEC Air Ram and its companion multi handheld vacuum for vacuum of the month. Next up, you've not seen the unboxing yet, but that is a Vax Blade Pro. Oh no, it's the Blade Ultra, not the Pro. So another cordless vacuum to look at. I have made the unboxing and I've done a whole house clean with that model at my mum's house so that will be coming up this you have seen um, I haven't used it since you saw it this is the ETA or ETA Dynamics cylinder vacuum in pretty good condition and then following the latest SIBO we've got an earlier SIBO of course the Automatic X1 this Hoover the one performer I'm in two minds about selling this now you may realize or have seen the video that I do have a Hoover the One Pet now, a new one. This one was bought from Direct Vacuums ages ago from eBay. There was things wrong with it when I got it. Um, this broke off pretty soon, the handle of this filter lid, so I bought a new one of those. But since it's been stored away various plastic parts have broken off where the hose clips there. So I don't know whether just to sell it on or give it away as sales uh, as spares or repairs or buy the bits I need. They should still be available for this model and just make it uh, as new again. There is a, a demo video of that done in my mum's old house. It performed pretty well. Here's one of my lovely vintage Hoovers, the Hoover Turbo Part 2. That's another one that I got brand new, but I've had that quite a long time, longer than I've been on YouTube so that's uh, one of my earlier machines. Now this uh, Dyson, not used it really much as you can see from the state of the bin. Because I do vacuum of the month I can't really use a lot of cleaners. I think I'll be knocking that on the head for next year vacuum of the month because it's a bit too restrictive. Because I always feel I've got to use the current vacuum and sometimes I fancy using another one. And although I could cheat, I don't like to, so... But I think, before the end of the year, I will choose this Dyson as vacuum of the month and I'll use that for a month. Here's one you may not have seen. You will have seen this if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram. This is a Hoover Tempo. This is an American vacuum cleaner, so you can't buy this in the UK. Well, you can, obviously, because I've got one, but you have to import it from the USA and you need a step-down transformer because, as you can see, it's got a, a USA plug on it. Here's a, an old Bosch. Not that long ago I did, I think it was the Perfector 85. This is the first Perfector I unboxed. Now I think that one is one that I might get rid of at some point. I'm gonna do a demo of that particular one, I think. Here's an older cleaner as well, again, I've not seen this since I made the video, I don't know how long ago it was, the Hoover Freedom here. It needs a bit of a refurb. It's possibly one I might send off to Mr. Sam Watson of Becco 1987 channel. He is going to do a couple of two or three cleaners for me, hopefully. 
Um, and I'm thinking I might, well, I speak to Sam about it. I might have an arrangement with him uh, where I send off the cleaners because I don't have time to refurbish. And I was thinking of asking Sam, um, you know, to do them for me. Obviously, I'll pay him in money or vacuums, whichever he prefers. Then this cleaner, still haven't done a demo of it. Still, you can still buy the old automatic X4 series, still plenty of stock. Uh, you can still buy, oh, I don't know if there's plenty actually. Mm. There should be some stores you can still buy this in the UK and the USA. In fact, I think you can't get the X7 yet in the USA, so you've only got the X4 cleaners. Uh, let's move the old air ram, which I'm quite enjoying using. Uh, it does seem to be picking up a lot of dirt. Here's a lovely cleaner. This has been under my bed. The Electrolux Contour Chic. This has had a bit of a demo. Obviously you saw it unboxed and in one of my Christmas videos, maybe a couple of years ago, I did a little mini test with three completely different cleaners. It was this, the Oric Upright, and I can't, oh yes, I think it was the Panasonic Icon. I think the Icon won. This didn't do too bad. But um, this is obviously based on the old contour. I would like um, a glider. That would uh, be nice. But it's a nice cleaner. Again, this is another one I got uh, new. Hang on, let's do that. New in the box. So things like this, I'm not going to, well, I've no plans on getting rid of things like that. Here's a, a twin turbo. Again, this could do with a bit of a refurb. It's quite clean and tidy, as they say. But um, yeah, it could do with a proper going over. This Hoover Idol, I think that featured on a Christmas video. You've not even seen the unboxing of this Karsha. The eagle-eyed of you will have seen it in the Karsha floor washing demo, that Karsha FC5, that was briefly shown in there. Up here, I've not yet unboxed it yet. I've had it several weeks, another little robotic cleaner. This is the um, iRobot Brava Jet. There's the old multi that I'm using again for the stairs and upholstery and, and my bed and things. Here's one I don't think you've I've seen unboxed. I've had it absolutely ages and ages. Is the Sibo Evolution 300. Down here, you saw this fairly recently, the old Kirby tradition. I've still got the dirt meter attached, so that's another video I need to make because Sam will be wanting his dirt meter back. Here's a machine you've not seen unboxed, but yet there's another one I've had absolutely ages. It did feature in a Facebook video I did ages and ages ago. So you can check my Facebook and Instagram because I do odd, odd little videos on there. If you don't follow me on those two channels, you get sneak peeks of things I'm doing. Instagram, there's not just vacuums on there. There's other things I'm up to, but on my Facebook page, my iBasic Facebook page, you will see pictures and little videos as well. Uh, a couple of Hoover dust sets, I don't think I've ever shown those. There's one model 100 there, and there's um, a later model. Uh, the Shark, that's the cordless with the old flexology, and my latest Shark here, which I was thinking of making vacuum of the month, I still might do before the end of the year. Um, certainly that Dyson, I probably will use that as a vacuum of the month. Um, and then we've got the other machine here, the Shark Corded. they both got the rose gold colour, same colour scheme. This machine I keep meaning to do, it has had a bit of use. The AEG Precision Brush Roll Clean with a self-cleaning brush roll. Um, that's one I might sell as well once I've made a video thick with dust <laughs> but anyway and finally another AEG again a, a blast from the past this is my vampire in fact yes you did see an AEG recently didn't you on my channel um, the chroma version now this is a huge beast this is earlier than the chroma um, this has been unboxed but it's got um, one or two things wrong with it if I recall um, I think one of the wheels is broken or is it? Sure it is. Has it fixed itself? Ah, well it's not too bad actually. It's not completely broken. It is cracked. 
but that's not as bad. I haven't been able to source one. I think I might have found a black one. If any of you know where I can get a new wheel for this, please let me know in the comments. Um, so the main thing wrong with this is it doesn't stay on. I'm going to, whoops, and it doesn't stay upright either. So we'll have a closer look at some of these cleaners. I'll put the camera back on the tripod. Hopefully the neighbor's dog will have stopped barking. Um, then I'm going to do a few shout outs and questions and answers for you because I haven't done that for a while. Okay, so here's the AEG and I've remembered what was wrong with it. Now, I plugged it in and it's turned itself on because the switch is faulty. I couldn't remember whether I had to hold down the switch. I thought I did actually in the video. I thought I had to hold it down to turn it on. Might have been another model. I've had so many. Um, but it doesn't, the switch doesn't work. So I'm, I'm sure, well, hopefully I'll be able to get a switch. It, hopefully it'll just be the case of replacing the switch. It's a lovely 80s machine, this. Currently it's on the uh, low setting, 250. And then it's got three pedals here. So when I press this one, it should, I don't know what it goes on. It might be the economy setting. I think it's the Autotronic, so it has automatic uh, sensing. Let's have a go of it, shall we? So yes, this is the problem with this machine. It stays on all the time. Apart from that and the, the slight crack in the wheel, it's in pretty... Well, it was as new. It was supposed to be new, anyway. But uh, as a lot of things are described as new and perfect, they don't arrive like that today. So that's one I hope to get working anyway. I'm just going to have to unplug that, otherwise it'll be running for the rest of the video. Come on, a little bit sluggish. The cord reel. There we are. Yes, it's quite a nice cleaner this. Very, very 80s. Absolutely massive. Pretty heavy. You've got uh, your tools inside three small tools in the days where manufacturers supplied three small tools I mean a lot of them still do but especially with the uprights we now get these silly combination nozzles these are pretty decent actually on this German made AEG just like the Chroma that's German made but now they're not made in Germany they're part of the Electrolux group and some I think may be made in China um, others are made somewhere in Europe and is that going to go in? Something's... Oh, that way up, that's it. So, there we go. That's the AEG Vampire 881i. Where's the bag? Because obviously this is a bagged cleaner. So long since... Oh, it's this button here. So it's just got the old traditional paper bag in there. Whoops. <laughs> that's it. Here's my Electrolux Twin Turbo Electronic Deluxe. I quite like this. This is obviously based on the 500 series, starting with the Electrolux 500 and then came the 502, 502S, 504, 506. Ran for quite um, a number of years. This is one of the later styles, but basically underneath, it's still an Electrolux 500. Very nice cleaners, these, even though I was a Hoover fan. My mum had a 502. That's still one I'd like to have in my collection. Now, I think there is something wrong with the electronics on this. So, um, it's probably got somewhere in here the suppressor that often blows. So, um, yes, yeah, so I might have to remove that. Mm, I think I do like this model. It looks very good on my viewfinder. It looks pretty good condition. It's, it's, it is fairly scratched in places. This is another one that possibly Mr. Sam could uh, fix for me. I'm going to have a big pile of vacuums to send off to Sam, not all at once. So hopefully it'll keep him busy all next year, if he's, if he's willing to have the work. Right, I'm going to turn this on, but as I say, I think there's something wrong with the electronics. Don't blow up on me. 
That's what's wrong with it. Yes, on low power, it's far too low. Listen. Yeah, it sounds a bit rough. On, on high power, it's okay. Let's give it a quick push. Oh, they are going round. Yes, but I think it needs certainly needs a new belt. I've got a few belts for this. Um, I think I've got a tool kit that fits as well with these. The tools just plug in. They say it's a bit dirty. I've not really touched this since the original unboxing video, uh, probably a couple of years ago now. Here's another Hoover you've not seen me unbox yet. Yes, I can call it a Hoover because it is a Hoover, and it's a Hoover Silent Energy. Now I say it's a Hoover. But I've seen this cleaner, but in a nicer colour scheme. I don't really care for this blue and white. I've seen it in a sort of a bronzy colour. Under the brand ETA or ETA, the brand that makes that Dynamics, the red machine I showed you earlier. Well, in Europe, there seems to be an awful lot. They seem to be liking bagged vacuum cleaners in Europe for some reason because they're an awful lot still, mainly cylinder or canister cleaners. This type of cleaner is the most popular in Central Europe. They don't go for the uprights on the whole um, because they don't, hotter countries like Spain, Portugal, etc. They don't have many wall-to-wall -wall carpets. It's all hard floors, uh, stone floors. And for that, they really tend to go for a cylinder vacuum because a cylinder is better for hard floors really than an upright. So you'll find a multitude of bagged cylinders available in Europe. And ETA seems to be quite a big brand. Um, so this, although it says Hoover on it, it's probably not made by Hoover, but it is quiet. They call it Silent Energy, and for once, <laughs> it lives up to its name. Now, that's on maximum. And that's on minimum. It's quite a fat cleaner because obviously they've got to put in a lot of insulation around the motor and everywhere to keep the noise in, even the bag, which it has had a little bit of use. I think this helps to keep the noise in as well because it completely encapsulates the bag compartment as well as being a little handy carry carrier to take the bag out. There's a big filter in the back, so it just fits. So it just completely seals all round. So that's another layer of insulation for the cleaner. And it's got a nice Sensotronic-esque digital display. Well, not digital, but it's got a little illuminated display on the back. It's a triple A one, this. A energy, A hard floor and A class emissions. This cleaner has a fairly decent carpet and hard floor nozzle, unlike the Dyer nozzles that were supplied with the Hoover Idol and the Hoover Spritz. You'll see those videos on my channel. Pretty appalling, those. But this one, much better. It's obviously a low energy nozzle designed for these low wattage vacuums we have nowadays. So all in all, it's a pretty decent vacuum for a Hoover. It's still available. I wouldn't pay any more than really 100. If you can get this around 80, it's probably worth having a look at. But uh, I think the bags are pretty expensive. Well, they were when I looked. I'll have to have another look again because I still need to buy some bags for this. Here's my Vax Blade. It has seen a bit of use, but uh, mainly at my mum's house. It's pretty good performance wise on carpets at least. I don't really rate it on hard floors. It's quite a big bulky unit as well. The handheld part is quite large and quite heavy. You really need the optional toolkit that comes with the hose. I have got that. I'll show you all that when I do the unboxing. But um, I did a full house clean. Every room in my mum's house I cleaned and I showed you exactly how much dirt it picked up and we had a look at the filters. It's good, I say, the performance for carpet cleaning is fantastic. Um, according to which, the Consumer Association which, it did better than the Dyson V8 
on carpet cleaning, but it had other things that made it not a best buy. For example, the dust emissions on this weren't great, so it does let out quite a lot of dust through the filters. So if you've got asthma or allergies, possibly this is not one to go for. But, you know, it's heavily advertised. A lot of people buy the Vax brand. It's okay. And if you're looking for something a little bit more budget than one of the Dyson cleaners, it's worth considering if you mainly want it for carpets and um, you don't suffer from allergies. I'll give it a quick go. It's got a little control here, the on off buttons here, and you've got a boost mode, brush bar on off. It shows you how much battery you've got. I wonder how much I've got on this. It's a full battery. It's okay if you're looking for an alternative but still I have found the Dysons to be the best cordless at the moment as much as I don't like to say that they're not as good as a mains powered vacuum I mean this has grown on me especially since I found out how much dirt it picked up very traditional vacuum the SIBO but it is well made they are built to last in fact, I do like SIBO as a brand. They don't like me for some reason, but I do like SIBO as a brand, but I do think they are a brand that needs to modernize, to be honest. And a lot of people say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, in my opinion, they need to start modernizing their range because they are losing, I don't know the sales figures, but I think a lot of people haven't even heard of SIBO still in the UK. A lot of the countries in the world, maybe in Germany, they're more well known. But in the UK, still, when I mention SIBO to people, they've never heard of the brand because SIBO do not tend to do a lot of marketing and advertising, certainly not on TV. Um, they do advertise in uh, like magazines like Good Housekeeping and Ideal Home and things like that. Um, but really, they need to up their game because there are other companies such as Shark, and I know a lot of you out there don't like Shark. A lot of people in sort of the vacuum cleaner enthusiast community do not like Shark, but Shark aren't concerned. They are a business. Shark aren't concerned with what collectors and enthusiasts think about their products. Although I do like them, they are more concerned with what the consumer thinks. And most of the reviews for Shark cleaners are four and five stars. Not all of them, obviously. Some people do get bad experience of uh, sharks. I like them. I'll continue to show sharks on my channel. Hopefully two brand new sharks will be coming up this year. And according to shark, they are going to be very different. That's all I know about them. I'm very looking forward to seeing what very different is in shark's eyes because shark do innovate. That's what I think about shark. You may disagree. SIBO obviously a fantastic German brand, they're quality, but they need to modernise their machines. Sorry SIBO, that's just my opinion. And as I showed you in the video between uh, when I got the X7, not a lot of development. And a lot of you will say they don't need to develop. Well, I'm sorry, but they do. It's a great cleaner this, if you want a traditional bagged upright vacuum that will last you a good many years. Yes, a SIBO would be my choice. I prefer the Felix though to the X series, but I don't know. I just wish they would bring us something just a little bit more what I think what consumers want. Right, what shall I show you? You can't shout out. I should do this live really so you could say what you want to see. I'll show you one other cleaner. Which one shall I show you? Oh, I know. Uh, let's have a look at the Hoover Tempo before I um, so finally, before I address some of your comments, this is my Hoover Tempo. Again, I've had this quite a long time. This is a very budget priced bagged vacuum cleaner from Hoover, TTI Hoover, the American Hoover company. Very reminiscent of the Maytag uprights we got in the UK. A lot of the components are the same. And I've I've heard from collectors that if people are after something budget and bagged, a lot of people in the American 
community of collectors and enthusiasts do recommend the Tempo. It's pretty noisy, but it's got a very aggressive brush roll, maybe a bit too aggressive for some carpets, but it's a, a wide cleaning path, very stiff brushes, good suction, and a good, probably I would say it's a good budget buy if you're in the USA and just want a bagged upright. Obviously it's made in China now. I do a demo of this in the unboxing when that will be coming up, I'm not sure. But I do put some dirt down and I think it copes pretty well with it. Well, I was going to answer some of your questions and give a few shout outs in this video, but I've gone on for far too long, so I'll have to make a separate video. So tune in tomorrow, Thursday, and I'll do a shout out video and answer some of your questions. So in the meantime, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments about any of the vacuums you've seen in this video, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.